welcome back before this video i have already discussed about the corona formation of corona different parameters affecting corona and then different minimization methods of corona after that i have discussed about the audible noise what are the different sources for audible noise and in this video i will discuss about the measurement of audible noise as i have already discussed in previous video that audible noise is the mainly caused by the movement of positive and negative charged ion it is described by the sound pressure level and graham bell already established the basic unit for this sound pressure level it is as uh, 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 newton per meter square and all decibel values are referred to this basic unit for any other sound pressure level the SPL can be written like this this uh, 10 into log uh, 10 SPL by 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 Pascal this is also termed as acoustic power level and it can be denoted, denoted by PWL or simply audible noise level and this is the basic block diagram of uh, measurement circuit in this the one is mic another is this amplifier then weighing, sir, weighing circuit filter amplifier rms detector and then output and this output can be displayed so these are the different components of uh, this block diagram of audio uh, audible noise measuring circuit now i will discuss these block diagrams one by one one before discussing the all parameters or all components let me discuss first about the mic there are different types of mic but the microphone is generally of three types the one is air condensation air condenser type another one is ceramic type and third one is the electric microphone and out of these three air condenser air condenser microphone are very stable and they are having highest frequency response and ceramic microphones are the most rug in, in in all the three because audible noise is uh, generally occurring in the foul weather conditions so in the foul weather condition adequate or uh, protection is required for microphone this uh, protection is required in the foul weather condition so due to this reason ceramic microphones are the best suitable for measurement of audible noise third is the electric microphone uh, this requires a polarization voltage so a power supply is required this power supply is generally provided by the battery but that battery will again exposed to rain or uh, foul weather conditions and the most important characteristic of a microphone is its frequency response and for making audible noise measurement the main point of discussion is or the main parameter by which up you can measure the audible noise that is the grazing angle and grazing angle is defined here uh, this is the surface surface of the microphone and this is the normal incidence so normal incidence is referred to as zero degree incidence and it occurs when sound waves are incident at the perpendicular perpendicular to which perpendicular to the microphone diaphragm this is the microphone diaphragm and these uh, sound waves are incident at perpendicular to this diaphragm or another way grazing angle is the angle between the incident ray and the reflecting surface this is the incident ray and this is the reflecting surface so the angle 
between these two is known as grazing angle and for normal incidence the grazing angle is a right angle normal incidence is this so angle between this reflecting surface and this incident ray is 90 degrees so it is right angle for a normal incident then weighing network and this is another important part of the audible noise measurement circuit so a human ear responds more frequency to frequency between 500 hertz to 8 kilohertz and it is very less sensitive to very low pitch or high pitch noises so in that circuit there are five weighing networks designated as a to e in sound pressure level meters a network has been designed particular to have the nearly same response as the human ear so so out of those five only one is designed to have a nearly same response as human ear then the octave band this is another component of the measurement circuit so whenever more complex information is needed in that case the frequency range that is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz can be split it into several sections or parts or bands this is done with the electronic circuit within a sound level meter these bands are having a bandwidth of 1 octave or 1/3 octave an octave band is a frequency band where highest frequency is twice of lowest frequency and the octave band consists of a center frequency if center frequency is f not and f1 and f2 are the upper and lower frequencies of the band then f not will be this under root f1 into f2 so this is the octave band circuit this circuit is taken from the book veg mudra so this one is the for lower pass and this one is for the high pass you can see here that this is 62.5 this is double octave so we can select any one in this and on the basis of that we can easily identify that which type of frequency is or which type of audible noise is receiving at the receiving end thanks for watching the video in the next video i will discuss about a numerical in which we can measure the audible noise thanks